Okay, let's talk about how to find the angle of this particular triangle using the sine function. So this is part of a little mini-series that I'm doing. Um, we're using the basic trigonometric functions of sine, cosine, and tangent to solve this uh, particular problem. But uh, if you're new to trigonometry, then this little mini-series is for you. Okay, so trigonometry um, it does not have to be that difficult, the basics essence of it. Okay, we're going to be talking about uh, basic right angle trigonometry. So if you've never taken trigonometry before, but you're just interested in it, then uh, this video is for you. And if you're just starting to study trigonometry, this video is for you as well. So we're going to get into all of this, and obviously we're going to hone in uh, specifically on the sine function in just one second. But first, let me go ahead and introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and over several years I've constructed what I like to believe. It's one of the most comprehensive, uh, robust online programs there are. I mean, I've poured myself into uh, building my math program over, let's say, 15 plus years. So it's a lot of work, but I really try to um, build a uh, system where students can go to watch full, complete, comprehensive lessons, much more than what I do on YouTube, and see how to do proms thousands and thousands of problems solved uh, via video. So nothing's worse than doing a problem and just looking up the answer and just seeing the answer. There's just a basic answer key. But how do you get to that problem? How do you? How was the solution being done? You might only have one or two examples of that from uh, your teacher or your textbook. And that can be frustrating. What I do is I solve all the problems via video. So it's extremely um, different in that respect. So if you want to check out, if you need to take a full math course or... Um, you need help in your current math course, I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. Now, quick point about notes. I always make this, if you're watching this video, my goal is to help you with mathematics. Obviously, I'm going to teach you about the sine function here, but I need to stress every single time about notes. Okay, here's the thing after decades of teaching mathematics. Those who have great notes generally have great uh, grades. <laughs> and those that have poor notes do not do well in math. That's pretty much a really concrete rule. So if you're not um, doing as well as you can, uh, can possibly be with note taking, you need to start, you know, really putting more effort into your notes. But in the meantime, you need something to study from. So I'm going to leave a link to my notes. Okay, you can get those in the description of this video, and that would include pre-algebra, algebra one, uh, geometry, algebra two, trigonometry. Okay, so you need something to study from, and obviously you got to start. Uh, working on your note-taking if it's not 100% there for you. All right, let's get into the sine function. Now, um, I've done, uh, I've already done a video on tangent. I'm doing a video right now, obviously, on sine, and uh, I will be doing one on the cosine here in a second. But let's just quickly review what we're talking about. We're talking about basic right angle trigonometry, okay? So the kind of triangles that we're going to be solving involve a right angle, okay, 90 degrees. None of this is going to apply to angles that are like this, obtuse uh, or acute. Now, there are trigonometric um, uh, formulas and uh, there's some more advanced things in, in trigonometry that we can, we can work with other type of triangles, but what we're going to be talking about is specifically is right triangles, okay? So we're going to be talking about, obviously, the sine, Okay, but we have the cosine and the tangent, and they just kind of all together at, go all together as a group. We're talking about trigonometric functions here, trigonometric ratios. So here is our angle right here, the, the one that we're going to be solving for, and we need to kind of um, assign some uh, some of uh, basically descriptions to the to the to particular lengths of this right triangle, okay? Let's go ahead and go deal with the easiest one first. The longest side of a right triangle, it's always opposite of the right angle here in the corner, and you can kind of see it visually, right? This is, you know, it's not the perfect right triangle, but you get the idea. This longest side is always what we call H, okay? That's the hypotenuse, all right? Now, this angle here, all right, I'm looking at this leg of the triangle, Okay, it's opposite of this angle. Okay, so we're going to call this O. And then the leg right here that's next to the angle is adjacent to the angle. We're actually going to call it A, okay, which would be the adjacent side. Okay, now 
we got this little uh, phrase that we uh, learn when you're studying trigonometry. It's called so ka toa. Okay, now, of course, if you're watching my other videos on tangent and cosine, I keep repeating this. We're just drill this into your memory. So ka toa can't go wrong with this little uh, uh, mnemonic here. Okay, but what we're talking about is sine. In case you're like, oh, sine. Now, if you look here, we have all these deal with O, H, and A, right? You have an O and H, and A and H, and an O and A. So for sine, okay, I have O and H. So that means the sine of an angle is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse, okay? Or, yeah, so O over H, opposite over the hypotenuse. So that's what uh, these basic trigonometric functions are. They're just ratios of sides of a right triangle, okay? Now I'm gonna show you how we're gonna use these, but the sine of this angle here, okay, specifically is gonna be this side divided by this side, all right? And now, with that being explained, let's go ahead and solve this problem using the sine function. Okay, so here it is, or no, uh, now, basically, if you're going to um, spell out the word sine, it's S-I-N-E, not sin, okay? It's not a sin to do math, believe me, okay? Doing math is a great thing. All right, so sine, that's uh, how we spell it, but uh, its abbreviation is actually like so, okay? All right, so we talked about how the sine is going to be the opposite over the hypotenuse, and here it is right here, O over H. So now I just need to look at the given information I have in my little triangle here, right? So here's my angle. This is my opposite side, and this is my hypotenuse side. So I'm going to uh, divide. I'm going to create this fraction over H. So it's going to be 3 over 5. That's it. Okay. Well, not quite, but we're, now we have this set up so we can solve this. So we take 3 divided by 5, and we get this nice uh, decimal point 6. All right. Now, at this point, here's where we need the assistance of a uh, of a calculator or a uh, textbook. Okay, now a textbook back in the good old days when I was going to school decades and decades ago, uh, you would have these like old school, old school trig books. <laughs> they were the best. Anyways, I'm not so, so old that we didn't have calculators, but a lot of the textbooks have, well, in the back of the textbooks had tables that you would look up um, to um, find information. Now, what's the information we're, we're looking for? Well, I want to know the angle. Okay, it's kind of like a mystery uh, puzzle here. I want to say, hey, what angle has a sine of 0.6? And you could just look up on the table. You just go through and you would search all this decimals and everything else and, and you would be able to look up and it would tell you the angle in degrees, more or less, okay? It would say, oh, this angle has a sign of 0.6. So it's a huge, I mean, I'm huge. It was several pages of tables, but uh, that's kind of cumbersome kind of way of doing things. So we have on our calculator, if your calculator has these buttons, sine, cosine, and tangent. Now, if you have your cell phone, you should be able to shift to a scientific mode. But if you don't have a scientific calculator, you should pick one up at CVS, Walmart, whatever. You can get a scientific calculator with these functions for like 10, 15 bucks. So, I mean, they're pretty cheap. A graphing calculator is a different story. Now, they uh, cost more. Now, um, on this button, the sign button, we need to use that second function, okay? Because we need, we don't need the sign uh, button. We need the one that looks like this, sign with a little negative one on it, okay? So, that function, this is what we call arc sign is basically going to tell us, hey, listen, uh, what is the angle that has a sine of 0.6, right? This is the situation of my triangle. I'm like, hey, listen, uh, what angle has a sine of 0.6 or 3 over 5? So we're going to do, we're going to go into our calculator, we're going to hit the second uh, function, and we'll find that sine button, and we'll get this guy, okay? You'll see it pop up on the calculator, and we'll plug in 0.6, and when we hit enter, we're going to get uh, approximately 36.86 degrees. And always remember, when you're messing around with trigonometry, um, you got to make sure that your calculator is in degree mode, okay, uh, if you're working with degrees. And right now, when you're int being uh, introduced to trigonometry, you want to work in degrees because there's other ways to measure angles, all right? Uh, one other way is called radians or rads, 
and um, those involve uh, pi, et cetera. So, but that's a little bit for more advanced uh, trigonometry. But here's the thing, if your calculator is not in the right mode, you're gonna get a number and it's not gonna be right. And I can tell you right now, uh, over the decades of teaching, I would be, I would be, I feel so sad for students who were like, they did everything perfect, but guess what? They had their calculator not in degree modes, they had it in radians, they didn't realize it, and then they gave me some wrong answer, and then they went like this, and then it was just like, you know, a bunch of tears, and yeah, sometimes I had mercy on them, and I'd only take a couple points off. But uh, anyways, uh, little things that you should be introduced to if you're messing around with trigonometry now, okay? So if you, whatever calculator you get, um, you need to get to know it. And if you're going to be taking anything, literally, if you're going to be taking like a trigonometry, full trigonometry, maybe uh, encompassed inside of a pre-calculus course, then you really want to be looking at getting a graphing calculator. But if you're in algebra, whatever you're in, get to know your calculator. There's a lot of different functions on there. And just because you have a calculator doesn't mean you're going to get everything right. I've seen students who just plug stuff in. They don't know how to operate their calculator. Okay, there's a lot of different things. You, you, having a calculator is no substitute from knowing mathematics, especially when it comes to like order of operations, positive and negative numbers, uh, powers. I can just go on and on, uh, et cetera. Anyways, so this is a uh, quick introduction to the sine uh, function, but we can't talk about sine uh, without talking about the other trigonometric, trigonometric ratios. Okay, so... Um, uh, but you should also, you know, I would encourage you to watch the videos on how we solve for this angle using the, the, the tangent and the cosine just to reinforce what we talked about here. All right, so if you found this video entertaining or educational or some way enjoyable, please consider smashing that like button. I would certainly appreciate that. And if you're not a subscriber, uh, I would hope you would become one, okay? Uh, I have on my channel, I always mention this at the end of my videos, at least I try to, you gotta, you gotta practice this stuff. If you really wanna learn it, you gotta practice this, okay? So you can find on my uh, channel hundreds and hundreds of videos that are there for you. I've uh, been on YouTube for 10 plus years, at least the moment of this particular video. So I'm posting stuff all the time, uh, but you gotta practice to uh, learn math, okay? And if you really need uh, really comprehensive, formal, you know, you know, in-depth help, then you know where to look. Just check out the uh, uh, resources in the description of this video. But with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.